Tanner. Nice to see you. Uh, with all the, the bootlegs you guys were getting yesterday, how the blocking you were able to do, what did it, it mean to, to help the team and be able to do that? Uh, yeah, just uh, going out there and uh, doing doing my job to the best of my ability along with you know everybody else. It doesn't just doesn't just it isn't just me, you know it's it's the whole line up front, everybody getting their job done to uh, try to trick the defense, get their eyes somewhere else. so. You know, just trying to trying to do my part. Dan Duggan. Hey Tanner, uh, that first touchdown run. Like, how long did it feel like you were holding that block, and what's it like to to be in that situation where you're just one on one downfield and having to hold a block that long? Well, uh, you know, it helps with uh, DJ being being a pretty fast quarterback. So, uh, you know, just trying to get uh, get my leverage, keep my hands inside, and. Um, you know, do my best to get him into the end zone. It, it did feel like a little bit, but uh, now once he got in the zone, you know, it's all worth it. And what's it like just as a tight end last week when you see the game plan and it's a lot of 12 and 13 personnel? I'm sure you, you like seeing that. Uh, yeah, you just fly with the punches, you know, whatever whatever they throw at you that week, you know, whether it be in the game plan or just something that comes up during the game, um, you just got to roll with it. And, you know, we got – Full trust in Bish to to get us lined up and get us ready for you know whatever the defense has in store for us. Thanks, Ryan Dunleavy. Tanner, did it feel a little bit like I don't know what kind of high school you went to, but did it feel a little bit like a wing T offense or anything like that at times, like some traditional? old school like fullback three running backs three tight ends kind of offense that you might see you know at uh like ground level football uh, i actually ran wing t in high school but i was the quarterback so i was handing it off so i got to watch everybody run around so uh it was fun to get a different perspective as far as you know blocking and you know being at the point of attack on some of it so yeah it was fun uh and then this week, obviously, it could be any quarterback. It could you could have Daniel, you could have Tyrod, maybe neither plays. What does that do for you guys as pass catchers, uh, not knowing who your quarterback is going to be as you go through the week of practice? Uh, we have great quarterbacks, so nothing nothing really changes. You know, we're just uh, going to go out there and be prepared for whatever happens. Does it? I mean, do you have to develop more? You, more of a rapport with some of the other guys that maybe you haven't caught as many passes from, or is that kind of overblown? Um, I would say you, know, you, you like to get as many catches in with as many quarterbacks as you could, so everybody sees your ability. But um, at the end of the day, you know, it's it's our job to catch the ball when it's thrown to us, and that's just period for that. Thanks, Tanner. Yeah. Bob Brookover. Hey, Tanner. Uh, did you guys? Look at yourselves in in your tight end room as some unheralded young guys who haven't proven a lot. Do you ever talk about that? And do you feel like you guys have overachieved so far, you know, given the opportunities you've had? Um, I just I just feel like we're just trying to get better each and every game. You know, it's not it's not something that we look into the media for. We're not looking for attention here or there. Uh, we're just coming into work every day. And um, Bish has a great great game plan a great eye for everything you know he knows what we need to work on to get better um whether it's me chris or belly or uh austin um either way it's it's just coming in getting the work done every day and uh doing what we can do to the best of our ability what, what have you learned about those those other three guys in the room uh they're great guys i mean we we had a i feel like we have a tight-knit group in the tight end room um as usual honestly so you know I, I I learn from those guys just as much, you know. I hope as uh, they learn from me. So, you know, we're just trying to get better each and every week. Thank you, Tom Rock. Hey Tanner, you were sort of a late addition here in, in the middle of training camp. When when you got here and you, you looked at the schedule, uh, did this London trip bow at you? And did you say, be like, oh, I, I guess I could gotta make sure I have my passport." Uh, so I've, I've been to London once already. Uh, it was a fun experience. So, you know, but but realistically, you know, it's a business trip. It's another game. It's another week that we got to prepare for. And, um, you know, Green Bay's, you know, they're, they're a tough opponent. So we just got to continue to um, just prepare the prepare the way that 
our staff is telling us to, and you know, trust in trust in them. Any uh, any tips you came away from the first trip to London? Um, you know, not not many. It's a it's a cool city. It's just uh, you know, trying to uh, you know if it, if it's going to be inclement weather, you know, we got to be prepared for that, and then just you know, just another game.